What's going on guys? I know it's been a little while since um I've done a video. I've been kind of on a break from Graham so I guess. Been tired of this game. A little break, you know. At the DW, I think everyone feels that way. Um today we'll be looking at double yig build on Ultimate Bahamut. I mentioned this quite a while ago, though I never actually got around to doing it. So today we're finally gonna get it done. I do know a Zeno Ifrit. Um, Ifrit has came three times now. I've done it multiple times. So personally, I don't need to do it. But if people want me to do a video on it, I guess I can. But like, I've done it so many times now that eh, I don't see a point of it. Do keep in note that I am doing a high rank uh, Ultimate Bahamut. So they tend to be roughly really very very fast so you may not see a lot of things happen and i may not go the way i want it to go another thing is that i don't have uriel which really benefits magna a ton personally i wish i had it but i don't <laughs> so i won't be able to maximize my damage on earth magna the problem with magna is that it takes rather long to start up as you make you don't have enough multi-attack rate to really get started with it I did not mean to hit that. Uh, I guess we're gonna just go with that. <laughs> I actually meant to um, hit Octo Skill One, but you know that's fine. I have Shar in my back row, but it's kind of hard for me to get to Shar. Normally I can, but in this situation I probably won't be able to get to her like I normally would. So we're just gonna try to skip the trigger and I want to keep I want to keep octo buffs up but yeah um these runs are pretty fast so or fast enough rather with me single boxing I won't be able to do as much damage as I would like to do as I'm not refreshing like a try hard um if you've played this game you would know that a lot of this game is about refreshing your auto and blah 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 and all that stuff it's not very fun to watch, but it is how the game is played. So do not kill me over that. Because I do not have Shara in the front row right now, I'm going to have to MVP my RNG when it comes to uh, the 50% trigger. Hopefully, I have to be fine though. I mainly use her to maintain stamina, but um, if they're running really fast, I kind of just ignore it. I got to hit a sticker. More. Ideally here, you want to build up your Oki again, but it's, with me watching auto, it's rather hard. So, should not be very practical. You can see that I'm running a bow in my grid because um, Ultimate Bahamut hits you <laughs> rather hard. It's rather hard to not run the bow. Depending on how fast the run is, um, I would say slower runs, you don't need the bow, but if the run is like relatively fast, you're more likely to run into a trigger. And since you're more likely to run into a trigger, you're gonna need a bow more. Um, gonna go right into that trigger. Um, my, my main caster, is that a good enough help? I'm, a, I'm gonna pray I don't get wrecked. I'm gonna pray very hard. <laughs> I don't know how much HP the others have. Oh, and there's someone they have. I do have a blue pot, so this should be fine. I'm kind of scared because I feel like the moment my Ogi's over, the boss is going to be at 40%. So it won't be enough time for me to really do anything. Um, I don't put any pluses on my grid, on my characters. Do tell me if you guys want me to have pluses on my grid and my characters so I can put them on. Normally, I don't put it on because I feel that I don't really need to. But I guess some people, some people may want to see that rather. So just do tell me what you, uh, what you feel on that. I don't really need to heal much more other than this. I was kind of hoping we have somebody who plays Earth here. Um, the benefit of people who play the same element is that they can debuff for you. I don't want to hit Stars' skill, so I may just hit it now because he already took a hell of a lot of damage. <laughs> but normally, I don't want to hit the skill. It's more of a last ditch effort thing. Like, I do it because I have to, rather than because I want to. 
you see there, I kind of scummed. I used Alex's um, phalanx instead of uh, my own. <laughs> it's, little things like that is how you race in this game, so you can get more turns. I don't recommend it, because the raid doesn't really matter much, but I did it because, you know, because why not? <laughs> it's a habit. So, don't, please forgive me for my bad habit. Right now, I have to give my main character um, Ogi. If we're fast, we can actually use it okay, if we're fast enough. Uh, got this Ogi here. So the problem is that at the um, 28, he gets full diamonds. So I was kind of scared that I was going to um, run into that. But this run is really not going that fast, surprisingly. I, I don't know why. I guess we're lucky. It's going really at an okay speed, but it, it's not going that fast. So we should be able to get the 22 right after this. Um, I probably should not let her take any more damage because I need to heal. Oh, we can't heal right now. So we're gonna just. Uh, I use Giggle Mask. I don't know if that really was the best idea. But now that I think about it, it's not an awful idea, but <laughs> when I think about it, it doesn't seem to be the best idea for the second. I had Athena, which is also a decent option. Uh, auto one time here. Oh, I just realized he didn't lose his buff. Huh. So that was a waste. Oh well. Ah, okay. One thing I like about Alex is that she lets you get through the trigger. Relatively easy. She's very nice for stuff like that. I don't really want to hit that right now. I can avoid it. Ah, it's too late now. Oh, well. You didn't get to see my back row because I do have Shara in the back row, but... I didn't really have to use her. If we're lucky here, we can wait for somebody to, to hit the 8%. If not, then we'll have to just push. We'll see though. I think at 8% is when I can um, hit the 5%. If you didn't know, at the 10%, you get dispelled. So I like to kind of avoid that if I can. If not, then it's okay, I guess. Right, I'm the choice. Um, Sharta does a lot of damage here. Sharta and Octo quite a bit. Wow, I need that one percent. Ah, see, I need. I know. I, need, I knew. I knew. I needed it, bro. I knew. <laughs> uh, rip. Oh well. So we do get this spell. So we look up a ha. Okay. Whatever. Be the end of the fight, though. Well, that's double your grassle build. Uh, I'll probably go back and do a uh, build with Alex in it. Just try it, try it out, so we can see um, how good that is. I'm going to try a double team up build as well. I want. I actually want to look at that myself. As I've been curious about it to, to have fun with it, but um, we'll see how it goes. I have to do a fire build, but I haven't done it yet because. Uh, <laughs> My fire sucks. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it like the characters that you need for Ultimate Bahamut when it comes to fire characters are characters I do not have, like Anilla, even Summer Percival. I do not have them. So characters like that who debuff the boss because fire base damage on Colossus is not that high. So you really do need a lot of debuffers so you can get the element attack down, um, element defense down. I don't really have that, so it's, it's, the damage is not that great. Unless I have someone who plays fire for me and debuffs for me. <laughs> so that's always a problem when it comes to this raid. Is that if you don't have the debuffers, you're very reliant on someone else to debuff for you to get maximum damage. But that's my rant. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to respond to you guys. And thank you for watching.